So through that process, God has been able to use me. And it has been one of the most amazing rides ever. And so I stand here today with you trying to give you what God gave me, which is the opportunity to have a heart transplant. Because we could sit, I could sit around and I could ask God, please tell me something to say to this person or that person or that person because I operate in those gifts too. I was born with it. I could say, hey, you have an angel standing behind you, and you need, but hey, you're going to be blessed with a house. Hey, you're going to go here, go there. But what is it to gain the whole world and lose your soul? You know, we get stuck in the after and the devil had no problem with me standing in church talking about how God and I are walking together in company and this and that and I'm going to hell. Because as long as I didn't have a heart transplant, I was his. And he wasn't going to let me be aware of it at all. So he's like, yeah, let her go. Let her go to the, let me check her heart. Yeah, it's still hard and callous. Go ahead, go ahead, preach. Go ahead, talk in church. As long as I didn't have Ezekiel 36, 26, where you replaced my heart of stone with a heart of flesh, it didn't matter. It did not matter. You know, God allowed me to come back so that no one dies and the wrong one comes to get them. Because not everybody gets to die and see that part and come back. And so that moment on, I have been yelling it from the rooftop. Because I don't want to be around anyone and they die and the wrong one comes to get them. I realized that that bitterness and that anger wasn't worth my life. When I found out it was my life hanging in the balance, I was like, no, I got to forgive you. I got to forgive you. But if it was my ex-husband's life hanging in the balance, I was like, no, he can go to hell. Because I didn't understand that it was mine. The measure in which you measure others will be measured against you. It's your life. So forgiveness is selfish. I, I, I selfishly forgive everybody here because I got to make it. I got to make it. Forgiveness isn't a feeling, it's a choice. And it's one of the most selfish choices if you realize that I forgive you not because you were good to me. I forgive you not because you did everything right. I forgive you not because you, you, you did anything worth it. I forgive you because my life is in the balance. And I trust that God, that God would touch you and you would stop hurting me. But even if you don't, I can't die for that. When I died, at no point did I go, well, my mother beat me. She hit me. My father beat me. My ex beat me. Yeah, it's worth it. it was none of those things came up. We think there's so many things. So many times people say, well, I, I'll, I'll talk to God when I get there. I'll, I'll handle that. God is, None of those things come up when you die. When you die, it is about where you are going for the rest of your life. And that is it. And that is all that you care about.